Those who know Christine Blasey Ford say she never wanted to go public with her allegation. That in 1982, a teenage Brett Kavanaugh sexually assaulted her and that Blasey Ford thought during the attack he could kill her. Kavanaugh, the Supreme Court justice nominee, denies the allegation. Indeed, the psychology professor told the Washington Post she was afraid no one would believe her. A fair concern, especially since the President of the United States has weighed in. First on camera. As you know, Justice Kavanaugh has been treated very, very tough. And his family, I think it's a very unfair thing what's going on. And then on Twitter. If the attack on Dr. Ford was as bad as she says, charges would have been immediately filed with local law enforcement authorities. According to the Justice Department, only about 23% of sexual assault victims ever go to the police. Psychology professor Jennifer Fried says that in response, perpetrators routinely attack their accusers' credibility. I think it is a main reason that women and victims of sexual violence are unwilling to speak about what happened to them. My name is Anita F. Hill. Fried's research was inspired by the 1991 confirmation hearing of Clarence Thomas, in which Anita Hill accused him of sexual harassment. Joe Biden was the chair of the Judiciary Committee at the time, but Senate rules did not let him stop senators from attacking Hill. I'm sorry I couldn't have stopped the kind of attacks that came to you, but I never attacked her. I supported her. After Trump nominated Kavanaugh, Blasey Ford sent a confidential letter about the alleged assault to Senator Dianne Feinstein. That has Republicans accusing Blasey Ford of playing politics with Kavanaugh's future. But a law professor says Blasey Ford has the right to demand justice. But those rights are not useful to them if to accuse someone of attempted rape means to be subject to harassment, death threats, um, being plagued by media. Christine Blasey Ford and her family are in hiding thanks to death threats. The debate about Brett Kavanaugh's character grows more vigorous. No time yet for Blasey Ford to decide whether speaking out has been worth it for the country or for herself. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, Washington.